welcome in this module we will discuss about optimizing query performance amazon redshift routes a submitted sql query through the parser and optimizer to develop a query plan the execution engine then translates the query plan into code and sends that code to the compute nodes for execution see here the following illustration provides a high level view of the query planning and execution workflow the query plan can be viewed using the following statement type explain and write your sql query and run that statement then the query plan will be retrieved best practices use the correct column encoding use the analyze command to find the correct encoding select the right distribution key to avoid skewness you can check the skewness by using the select statement which we mentioned in previous session do not type cast the sort key column when used in where predicate in the example employee name is a sort key column so use it in the where predicate without any type casting if you use it with type casting like in the red query saying trim of employee name then the sort key makes no sense here vacuum the tables if you are deleting or inserting any rows in a key then a data the space will be removed and it will be a caveat will be created so the defragmentation will happen when you use the vacuum command and if a data is sorted and you are appending or inserting any unsorted keys then that will be rearranged when you vacuum the command table create wlm queues commit queue waits compress data before loading inefficient use of temporary tables better make use of temporary tables wisely if it occupies too much of space in memory because temporary tables sits on memory then the other queries will wait and takes a long time use the following statements keep this keyword in your mind set dw the s is for sort key always try to have a sort key on a table it helps in joins where predicate aggregates and many more places the e is for encoding remember the keyword set dw e is for encoding try to encode all the columns t is for table maintenance run the vacuum command and maintain your table the d is for data distribution distribute the data using dist styles the w is for workload management always try to have this workload management and give space and priority for your super user and your etl queues thank you i highly appreciate your patience and interest in listening to this redshift tutorial and i'll keep adding more on aws services please have a watch on my trainings thank you